here's uh the second part of how to make a unit yeah uh-huh i i managed to actually make a part two look at me yeah i'm, I'm so good at this i'm so good at content creation yeah So, uh, continuing on from the last video, I guess, we made the sprite of the unit, and now you have a sprite, what else do you need? Uh, obviously, you have to put it in the game, but it also needs a weapon, a bullet, and just other stuff like that, so I guess that's what this video is going to be about. Yeah! So, here I, uh, I'm in paint. And I'm just gonna quickly draw the unit, like really roughly its shape. And here's how I envision it to shoot. So first, there's gonna be a big orb that's gonna charge up in the middle. And while it charges up, the two wings are gonna have, are gonna move out, creating sort of like a, like a U shape to charge the orb even bigger and to shoot the orb. That's just gonna be, that's gonna be its uh, main weapon. And it's ha it's gonna have two small uh, point defense turrets around here on the wing. That's gonna okay. How do I explain point defense? It's just whatever that turret does, like that one turret. You know what I mean? That orange one. Just put it on the screen. It's that one. Uh, these two turrets are gonna do just that. And that's gonna be the unit. It's not that complicated because it's only a tier two. So I guess. Um, we're gonna go spriting, we're gonna sprite these two, and yeah, we. So, to sprite weapons, first uh, create a, a new layer on top of the unit, and start sketching out the shape of the weapon with black. I, that's what I like to do, anyways, and if you have a weapon that's gonna be mirrored, turn on mirroring. And if you have a weapon that's uh, going to be in the center and not be mirrored, don't mirror it. <laughs> and then after that, I like to turn off the unit layer. And then you start shading it. Uh, the way you shade weapons are interesting. If the weapon is mirrored, like it, for example, rains with the two uh, guns by the sides, the, we uh, the weapon should have a sun, or rather the light source, be, on, be at the top right of the weapon. And if it's in the dead center, like for example here the precept cannon, it should be like the unit with the light writing on top uh, of the unit. And yeah, you just start uh, shading, do the decals, basically the same steps as the unit, except smaller. And eventually you're gonna get a shape you like and a shading you like. And just sh uh, add the decals, 45 degree everything, and there's your pair of weapons. Now when you save the weapons, don't have the weapons be in a pair, instead have only one and leave like a 3 to 4 pixel margin around it because it has an outline. And yeah. So I have added the unit into the game and here it is. It's not polished, but it's in the game. And here is the basic unit code. The most important stuff here is the health and the speed. Those two are the most important things with, with a unit. Uh, because my mods tier 2s are usually at around uh, 13 to 1600 health. This is uh, 1300. And the speed is just 3.2 because it's an air unit and it's supposed to be pretty fast and here is the point defense bullet a code it's a little different than uh compared to a normal weapon it doesn't have a bullet because it itself is a weapon class and the most important stuff here is the position which is the x and y uh the range and the reload the range is how close the enemy has to be to have the bullet shoot and the reload is how often it shoots. Um, the mirror and alternate here is if you want two weapons instead of one. This is the entire reason why I told you guys to 
save the weapon as one because you can just mirror it and it will work. An alternate is if the two weapons are allowed to shoot at the same time. And yeah, that's the point defense. Now let's move on to the main weapon, the big orb. So here is the big orb. Uh, there isn't much to say about this one. Here's the code. It's not a vanilla bullet type. It uh, it's a bullet type that extends basic bullet type, and I did some just fancy Java stuff to make it speed up. But you get the point. It's an orb that shoots and hits things. It's really simple. And right now the bullet looks horrid because it does not have any effects and cool impact stuff. It it seems very weak, but it's not. And in order to act impact, uh, you will have to wait for like a week because that's gonna be in the next video. Anyways, yeah, that's everything. Bye. <laughs>